بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كلية إمام الكاظم أقسام الدوانية قسم اللغة الإنجليزية مرحلة الثالثة مادة علم اللغة تدريس محمد حسين بدري Today we are going to talk about chapter 2 which is titled What is language? Okay What is language? In chapter number 1 we talked about uh, grammarians, traditional grammarians and uh, linguistics Also, we talked about the difference between them and the scope of linguistics. Today, we gonna talk about language and some of its features. Okay. So, in this chapter, we are going to talk about design features, some features of a human language. This is a definition of linguistics. Symbol in linguistics is the systematic study of language. A discipline, I mean here, linguistics, which describes language in all its aspects and formulates theories as to how it works. This is the definition of linguistics. Okay, so here, a definition, a clear def definition of linguistics. But what exactly is language? People often use the word in a very wide sense. The language, for example, of flowers, the language of music, body language, and so on. So, we uh, gonna talk about these points, about language, about humans. For example, here, humans can communicate in numerous other ways. Not only language. I mean, here, not all language. Because we have other languages, like for example, as mentioned here, the language of flower, the language of music, the language uh, of our body. Here we, we, we call it body language. So here humans can communicate, not only in oral language, but they can wink, wave, smile, tap someone on the shoulder, okay, using gestures. We can communicate by using our facial expressions facial facial expressions we can communicate with each other this wider study is usually known in the psychology of communication okay so this is under the psychology of of communication and we are not going to study this and we're not going to talk about this just you have to know this information of course we have this overlap with linguistics So we, it is not the concern of this book. We have so many books about language and uh, psychology, okay? Or what we call it, in, if you remember, in the first chapter we call it psycholinguistics, okay? So it's also clear that humans can transfer language to various other media, written symbols, braille, sign language, and so on. Sign language is bad. In particular, has interesting characteristics, which are not all predictable from the spoken word. Okay, we just talked about it. These are here general information. This is general information. But can language be defined, and how can it be distinguished from other systems of animal communication? We can't say animal language. Okay, rather we say animal communication. A useful approach was pioneered by the American linguist Charles Hockett. Okay, he's a linguist, Charles Hockett. He makes what a list of design features or characteristics, the characteristics of language. Okay, whether they are shared by other animals, we share or not. So, we start. We will start with this. You use. Or use of so sound signals. So we will talk about the fe the features, these features, and we will see each feature, how we as a human beings, how we share these features with, with animals. Do we share this feature with animals or not? Or it is just for us, this unique, I mean, for a human being, for us, as a human being, this feature is Unique. It's only for us. Animals do not share it with us. Or both of us share this feature 
we will see what is important about these features is that how we share these features with animals do we share them or not just we have this characteristic only we have this feature we will see use of sound signals from its name sound signals sound okay how to make sounds only uh, here before you read it okay only and only human beings make sounds on animals do animals make sounds or not you have to ask uh, this question okay when you when you read the characteristics the features so here use of sound signal do do we as a human beings use sound of course what about animals of course they use sound so starting from the very beginning that both of us share this feature so we will see when animals communicate with one another they communicate okay we are all uh, the same here I mean animals and humans all of us have all of us have their own language their own means of communication to be more accurate eh? all of us have our own way of communication we may communicate by using language by using words other animals using for example their uh, by waving using their clothes by dancing okay so when animals communicate with one another they may do so by a variety of means okay what are the means different means for example the crops communicate by waving their low clothes at one another okay they use their claws so this is their language and bees have a complicated series of dances which signify the whereabouts of a source of nectar so they use what dance they dance bees dance okay in order to communicate they dance this is by God <clears throat> But such methods are not as widespread as the use of sounds which are employed by humans, grass choppers, birds, dolphins, cows, monkeys, and many other species. So, for example, crabs and uh, bees, they don't use sounds, just they use signals. But other animals, birds, they use dolphins, cows, they use monkeys, use. So our use of sound is in no way unique okay so it is not unique the use of sound signal is not not unique not only human not we as a human we use it sounds also animals so we share you see here so it is not unique we share it with animals this is characteristics advantages of sound signal can be used in the dark some distance they allow a wide variety of messages to be sent and they leave the body free for other activities of course here it, it talks about a human to how they produce sounds probably acquired their sound signaling system at a fairly late stage in their evaluation evolution sorry this seems likely because all the organs used in speech have some more basic function the lungs here yeah, it talks about the way of producing sounds okay the way of making sounds how we make sounds okay you have studied phonetics and how we make sounds how the air uh, comes from the lungs through the pharynx and then through the mouth okay how we produce sounds we produce by using our what organs speech organs teeth lips tongue okay the focal cause all these things are used when we want to produce sounds the same here the information I just talked about okay so we finish with this what is important about this point is that uh, it is not uh, unique okay this feature is not unique for human beings uh, we share it we human and animals share this feature we both we i mean humans and animals have this feature we produce sounds we make sound signals 
when we want to communicate. Okay, this what is important about this is this arbitrariness. The second characteristic is what arbitrariness from arbitrary randomness. We will see here the same question. Is it human phenomena or animal? Do we have arbitrariness? Do animals do animals have arbitrariness or just the humans have arbitrariness? Let's see. There is often a recognizable link between the actual signal and the message an animal wishes to convey. Okay? There is link between signal, the signal that the animals make, and the message, the idea. Okay? The the things that the animal wants to convey, wishes it to convey. There is. So animal here what? There is link between the actual signal and the message. What about a human? Is there link or not? So an animal who wishes to warn of an opponent may simulate an attacking attitude. How? For example, a cat will arc its back bit and appear ready to pounce. Okay? When a cat wants to make an attack, what? It does this. It arcs its back space appears ready to pounce. So there is what here? We have a link between the signal and the message. The signal, okay, the things she she does or it does. Okay, and the message, what is the message here? The message, it is ready to attack. It wants to attack. In a human, the reverse is true. In the great majority of cases, there is no link. There is no link, whatever, between the signal and the message. Between the signal and the message. So the symbols used are arbitrary. So it is arbitrary. So we, only human beings, we share this feature. It is arbitrary. The symbols we use, the symbol or the symbols we use are arbitrary. There is no intrinsic connection. For example, between the word elephant and the animal, it is symbolizes okay no connection if we want to analyze the word elephant as a word not animal as word elephant letters elephant do we have relationship between the word elephant and the animal elephant there is no for example we know that elephant is big fat so when we look to the word elephant it is is it big or fat it is normal. There is no link. Okay? No intrinsic connection. No connection between the word elephant and the animal and symbolizes. Okay? Or for example, the word tall. The word, as a word, as a word, tall. Tawil. Do we have relationship between the word tall and the person it, it symbolizes for? No. For example, tall. Uh, it is written tall. T A double L. Or is it written that T long T and A long A or L or L, L long L? It, for example, it uh, it shows like or it, it we can see it like it fills the paper. To trust the work, to buy tall a correlation. No, there is no relation. Okay, there is no relation between the word door and the 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 door, the, the object that it refers to. For example, e even these bananas are bad. No relationship. Onomatopoeic words such as quack quack and bang are exceptions. These are exceptions. Okay? We have exceptions. Just these ex exceptions. Okay, qua qua. You see here, there is connection here between qua qua and it refers qua qua or mau. Okay, the sound of a cat. So we have this exception, but generally, okay, there is no relationship. It is arbitrary. Arbitrary. You see, knowing 
exists between the sounds used and their meaning. You see, it is here uh, very uh, simple. Learning between sounds and their meaning. Okay, learning between sounds and their meaning. The whole languages, whether English and Arabic. The same here in Arabic. When you say, for example, uh, to go, uh, asset. Okay, mark okay, for any relationship between the asset and the animal that you Or when you go, for example, zarafa. In English, zaraf. The zarafa here now. Okay, zarafa, zarafa. Okay, the zarafa is ordinary. It's not a relationship. بالزرافة اللي رقبتها طويلة خوانتا ما سويت كلمة زرافة سويتها حروفها طويلة مثلا الار خليتها او الزال خليتها طويل او الار قلت هاي رقبتها طويلة so there is no connection no relation between those sounds used okay under meaning number two number three the last one we talked about today or talk, talking about today the need for learning the need for learning do we need for learning do animals we will see many animals automatically know how to communicate without learning you see many animals automatically it is from God know how to communicate without learning their systems of communication are genetically it is by gene involved okay for example be dancing Okay, this is just an example. When they dance, when, when just when they were born, when they are born, they immediately dance when they build colonies. Okay, so here with general information. Here we have experiment about le how 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 uh, animals uh, get certain things when, for, when said, for example, people uh, teach them certain uh, things. This is just exception, okay. Here, this is quite different from the long learning process needed to acquire human language, which is culturally transmitted. You see, this is the difference. With animals, what? It is genetically inbuilt, genetically by gene. It is not acquired without learning. But a human, we acquire language. We, human, we acquire language. We communicate when we get born, when we are born, okay? Uh, after one, two, three years, we start speaking. So we acquire language. How we acquire language? From culture. Culture from, from culture to culture, which is culturally transmitted. Okay? From culture to culture. But with animals, no, it is by gene. It is genetically transmitted. Okay, here yeah, we can see it, which it, it is culturally transmitted. There it is what genetically transmitted. A human brought up in isolation. Here, yeah, example. For example, if you, uh, if a child is born in, in a community, or even in, uh, imagine that you have a child, uh, it's age six months, and you put this child in a room or in a house, and no one speaks to him. The result is what? The result is that he does not speak, he or she does not speak, is unable to speak. Like Tarazan, <laughs> he's, he's in the, in the jungle, in the forest, okay, when he is abroad to uh, the, the, the city, he's unable to speak. Here it is the same. This means that it is culturally transmitted. It is transmitted from one generation to another, from human to human. So this is the example. I just explained this point. So I will finish with this, with the duality. The same question here. Is it related to human only or animals? Do we share it or not? Thank you so much. If you have any question, you can ask.